65 Gamer Guy here with a review of Steamroller for the ColecoVision. Now this is a game that apparently Activision was working on. And I guess when the crash happened, it never got released. And I found a website that had this for sale, and I bought it. And it's been, I want to say, 10 years ago. I could be wrong about that. I don't remember exactly, but... Now in this game, you're uh, operating a steamroller. And if you're in one player mode, you're the, the blue steamroller on the left. Your job is to fix potholes in the streets. It's a very fast paced game. And there's a lot of objects on the screen that I'm not really sure what they are, some of them, but they're like green, blue, and red smiley faces bouncing around that don't really seem to hurt you too much, but the the main thing you don't want to do is run into the red steamroller because he will kill you and every now and then a bomb pops up and that will kill you too. This game is kind of interesting because it's you always seem to uh, crash into the your opponent even when you don't want to. It almost like it was designed to to trick you into that. Now I don't know exactly what triggers uh, you finishing a level, but when you do, at the bottom of the screen you'll see a little arrow pop up and then if you go down to that arrow then you can leave and go to the next level. And like I said this game is pretty fast paced and you really have to pay attention to uh, what's going on which I'm not really so good at anymore it seems like because I crash into the red steamroller and the bomb a lot more than I should as you can tell by all the different times I tried to play this game It's actually a pretty good game. It's fun to play. It's hard to tell with all the objects on the screen what you need to do and what you need to avoid. You have to really pay attention. And like I said, as you can tell, I didn't do so good. But I did manage to make it to level 2 a couple times. Now, a while back I was just looking around on eBay and I saw a copy of this game and they wanted $500 for it. I don't know if it sold, I didn't go back and look, but it seems pretty high, but I guess it probably is a pretty rare game. I don't know how many copies that they made and how many they sold. Sixty-five Gamer Guy, thanks for watching and happy gaming.